welcome to my channel, my name is Kiki and it is time to make crafting fun! DIY number one and we're gonna make a home sign, no me who! <laughs> home! <laughs> like this! And I'm using these letters from Walmart and I'm gonna paint them in white using white Waverly chalk paint. So I'm gonna paint it completely and I'm gonna remove those tags and then I'm gonna proceed to painting them, I'm gonna paint the sides, the top, not the bottom, because the bottom we are gonna glue our base over there. So we're just gonna continue painting them really nicely, and I'm gonna paint all of them in this white chalk paint. When they are dry, I'm gonna paint these cubes that you see here, they are from Dollar Tree, and I'm just painting them white, because they're gonna hold the O. Now I'm gonna paint the base and it is a stir stick that I removed the handle of it. And I'm gonna continue just painting it until I have covered everything front and sides. Now I'm gonna take my O and I'm gonna take this that I printed on my printer and I'm gonna paint, paint no, <laughs> I'm gonna glue it to my paper. That's it. <laughs> and then after I glue it, I'm gonna cut the excess just using my scissors really, really well. Cut the excess like of this, nothing too fancy because we are gonna do something else to this to remove all that excess paper. Now I'm gonna take sandpaper and I'm gonna start sanding the sides like this all around our O oh, and on the inside too. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the sanding, I'm just sanding it really carefully because I don't want to rip my paper, so I'm just sanding it like this and removing the paper carefully. I'm going to continue doing this until I have sanded all of that excess. Now I'm going to move on to the middle and I just tear up my paper. <laughs> but don't worry, we're going to add a little bit more of that Elmer's glue on top and you won't be able to see that mini tear. We're going to cover it completely and then when we have our O dried, we're gonna take our base and we're gonna take our letters and we're just gonna place them on our stick, stir stick, so we know where we can place them. As you can see, I'm just playing around with them, just setting them there so I can see where I can place them. And now I'm gonna add my M and we have a home. <laughs> and now that we have them, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back with hot glue and I'm using Gorilla Glue Sticks hot glue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue over here, glue those letters and now I'm gluing the M so I can deal with the O. And for the O, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add those cubes in the front and in the back because we need our O to be removable. So I'm gonna add those cubes like that, just hot gluing them there so I can remove that O and change it for every season. Now I'm gonna add a little bit after playing. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue and that will be it, look at that. Looking super cute. And now I'm removing all of those glue strings and that's it, we have a removable O for our home sign. Now let me show you, here you can see it, a beautiful lemon <laughs> home sign. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this one because you know I am in love with it. I love my lemons. <laughs> Meaning I'm biased and this is part of the scavenger hunt DIY giveaway and it works like this. In the description box down below you'll find a link to the playlist. Watch all of the videos that you find over there and comment on each one. Each creator will give you a secret word. Collect all of them and email them to DIYScavengerHunt at gmail.com. The winner of the 300 US dollars giveaway will be announced in two weeks on Instagram and our community tabs. Also in the description box down below you're gonna find the link to our hosts, Lini from Crafty Lini and Nadia from DIY with Nadia. Go and check them out because I know you're gonna love those ladies. They are so talented and so sweet. Go and check them out and remember to collect your words so you can be entered on the giveaway. Now for DIY number two. 
We are going to make a beautiful lemon sign and guess what? That's my secret word, lemons. Now I'm going to take this chalkboard that I got from Walmart and guess what? Chalk. <laughs> and I'm going to sauce my chalkboard using yellow chalk and I'm just rubbing it around like this so I can sauce it and then I'm going to clean the excess and go back and do the same. That way I will have an even coat of that saucing. <laughs> And now I'm just gonna finish with that, grab my Krylon matte spray paint, this one, the clear one, and I'm just gonna give it a good coat on top of that. Then I'm gonna grab a decal that I made on my Cricut and I lost some of the footage, but you have seen me add decals to my signs before. So there I added it and here you have it. Now I'm gonna take this paint pen and I'm just gonna do some stitching lines across the sign like this all around it and then after I finish with that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two lines using a stir stick and my paint pen like this under the lemons and under the make lemonade and that's it look at that so cute now here you have it and here is how it turned out let me know in the comments below what you think about this one I'm loving it I wanted to add a little bit something extra, but this is extra on its own. So let me know what you think about this one. Now for DIY number three, and we're going to make a beautiful vase. And I'm using this that I printed on tissue paper. I'm using this coasters from Ikea. And I'm using a vase. Let me show you this one better. And I'm using a vase that I got from Walmart, this one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Take my coasters and flip one over, add a little bit of hot glue over there in the coaster, add my vase, and I shouldn't have done that because it's going to make it harder to paint, but I'm taking white chalk paint from, from Waverly and I'm going to paint the vase. If you're going to recreate this, paint the vase first, <laughs> except for the bottom. Now what I'm doing is I'm just painting it really well, giving it one coat. But I'm going to give it two coats because after this one dried, it needed a little bit something else. So I gave it two coats. Let it dry really nicely. And then take back this button that I have. And I'm going to paint it so we can make a beautiful lid for our jar. So I'm just painting it really nicely like this. Then I'm going to let them dry. And now that they are dry, I'm going to add that to the lid or the other coaster. And I'm going to take back my vase and I'm going to take my paper and remove it from the paper that I used to print it. <laughs> and removing all of that tape. And you will see that I made a little bit of a mistake. But I want to show you that you can fix anything when crafting. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little bit of water and I started just adding too much water and you will see what happened. I added a lot of water and I lost a lot of my printout. Look at that. But then I decided that I wanted to save those lemons in the bottom. So what I did is I just added a little bit more, little bit, <laughs> more water like this. And then I took those lemons and added them to my jar by adding some Elmer's glue like this. Then I added my printout like this. And as you can see, it doesn't have straight edges and that will help it to blend with our vase. Look at that. You can't see that tissue paper anymore. <laughs> and I like those wrinkles that it gave a little bit of character and texture to the vase. I'm loving it. Now I'm just adding a little bit more Elmer's glue in the corners like this to make sure that paper is really, really there and won't go anywhere. <laughs> and after that, I gave it a coat of matte spray paint, the one that I show you. And it is Krylon's matte spray paint. Now, here you have it with the lid. Now let me show you. Here you have it completed. And I'm loving this beautiful jar. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments below. Because, yeah, I'm biased. <laughs> if you like modern farmhouse vodka decor and lots of silly jokes, subscribe because that's what I do here. And hit the thumbs up and share this video with a friend. Because that really helps to support my channel. Also, go and check me out on my social media so we can be friends over there and have 
lots and lots of fun together. DIY number four, and we're gonna take those pellets and a lemon from Dollar Tree. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that lemon in half using a box cutter. Yeah, be careful with this because it's a little bit hard. I used a good one to cut the edges and then I brought back one that was really rusted. <laughs> and then I fixed that <laughs> and I used another one. And I just cut it in half like this, being careful not to get my hand in between that blade. And now I'm gonna take antique wax and I'm gonna stain those pellets. First, let me remove that label. <laughs> and then we're gonna start staining our pellets. And for that, I'm using a sponge brush and just brushing all over that stain like that or antique wax. And I'm just gonna do that all around, sides, top, low, bottom, um, back part, everything. We're gonna stain everything so it looks really beautiful and finished. So stain all of it and let them dry and we're gonna do that on both of them. Now I'm gonna take this ribbon that I have it's a chicken wire ribbon and I'm gonna cut it like this and then I'm gonna bend it like this in the back and then I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna staple it like this and as you see here I didn't stay in the back <laughs> now I'm gonna take one of my lemon halves and I'm gonna glue it like this and then I'm gonna take some of these leaves that I had in my stash and I'm gonna add two of them like this and then I'm gonna add the third one in the top after I glue this once <laughs> because as you can see they don't want to go where I want them to go <laughs> and after that I'm gonna glue the other one like this and we will have a beautiful palette sign lemon sign thingy <laughs> look at that so cute let me show you here you can see both of them and they are looking so cute they are perfect for a tear tray but let me know what you think. Would you make them? I love them. Yeah, I know. I'm biased. <laughs> but let me know what you think. And here you can see all of them together once more. And this set, it's beautiful. Not because I made it. Yeah, well, <laughs> I made it. But I just love it. Let me know your thoughts on this set in the comments below. And remember that this is part of the scavenger hunt DIY giveaway. So collect all of those words and email them so you can be entered for the $300 giveaway. And also in my description box down below, you're going to find the links to Lini and Nadia so you can go and check them out. If you haven't seen their channels, I know you're going to love them because they are awesomely talented. I just love those ladies. And remember that if you like modern farmhouse, bow decor, and lots of silly jokes, subscribe because that's what I do here. And hit the thumbs up and share this video with a friend because that really helps to support my channel. Makes YouTube notice me. <laughs> and if you like this one, hit the thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching these type of videos. Take care, my beautiful friends. Bye-bye.